The city of San Diego confiscated 200 guns in 2019, all part of its red flag law aimed at taking weapons away from people who may become a danger to themselves or others. 10 News reporter Jennifer De La Cruz is live and Jen, this program is still pretty new. Well, the whole idea is to keep weapons out of the wrong hands. The whole problem started in December 2017. That's when that law went into place. And in less than two years, they were able to double the number of guns they took away. For every 20 gun violence restraining orders you get, one life is saved. San Diego City Attorney Mara Elliott is calling the red flag law a victory. If people have a concern about somebody who has access to a gun, that that person may be dangerous, they know who to call. The program started in 2017, allowing police to confiscate weapons from people who pose a threat to themselves or others by obtaining gun violence restraining orders. We bring a case based on evidence to the court and we convince a judge that an order is needed to intervene before something awful happens. In 2019, more than 200 weapons were taken away. And those numbers doubled by last year, and that's pretty significant. The law was used in cases 10 News covered extensively, like 31-year-old Steve Homoki, who police say shot this video of himself simulating a sniper attack from a downtown high-rise hotel room. And that in and of itself is not necessarily a crime, but we got a gun violence restraining order because that behavior is alarming. Through the GRVO, they made a major discovery. We found that he possessed at his home illegal firearms, and that is a crime. Or this case where police say 33-year-old Anna Conkey threatened to shoot up a Claremont church on Easter Sunday. You see her in this video with her baby in her left hand and a gun in the other. There is a period of time before she's actually convicted and she could be out on bail and we don't want to have her to have access to guns. So we get a gun violence restraining order. Elliot says with those weapons out of the wrong hands, they're on the right track. Now, when a weapon is taken away, there is a process for that person to go through to get approved and get that weapon back. The program has received state funding and is expected to expand to other cities in the future. Reporting live tonight, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News.